Hey gang, RC here, back with episode 2 of our Kingdoms of Amalur Let's Play. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. If you're tuning into this one and haven't seen the last one, you might want to go back and check it out, just in case. Alright, we've got a little book in here, so we run up, we find it. Nothing fancy, but hey, every little bit helps. We can sell it, and we've got one extra armor, so we'll do that. So I'm going to try to just do more getting into the game and moving through it and less dialogue, but we'll we'll do the best we can with that. Because if you watch my channel any length of time, you know I like to talk. Part of being in sales, I guess. You've come from the tower. Name's Agar. All right, so Maybe this is the guy that uh, fate Professor fate, eh? Formerus Hughes wanted us to look at the, but knowing the future and being come able find. to change it, or did he? What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards he took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drink. You really don't. A fate weaver. The cards are unique to each fate weaver. You, the cards this morning. Prepare. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got some some guys here. Two waffles. Oh, here we go. All right, so. Do not expect mercy, oh, mortal. okay. So we're going to hit F. All right, hold X. So when you hit X, this you notice the purple line is full. Alright, as you defeat enemies in Reckoning Mode, their fates will begin to unravel. Alright. Now, this is where we get Mouse 1. Hit it as fast as you can. And we just got up to 75% more experience. And then we pick up the fate of everyone that we just killed. So the more people you have when you set that off, the better. Don't hold it for a boss, but you see it what? does make them How? easier to kill. What are you? I don't know what I am. Fate. You just changed how the world was supposed You just come here. I'm going to I promise not to tell you if I see your it's a gift. Some people paint that would be my All gift. Right. You're nervous. I'll be seeing you, or at least I should. So he can't see my fate. You're real, right? Fate's weave is always hard to. This doesn't make sense. If this is true. All right. So here's where you get your destiny. So we start off as the fateless one, right? Now you can keep that, and you get no bonuses. But then each uh, each skill tree, acolyte is magical. Rogue is finesse, brawler is might, right? So, and then you'll see might, finesse, sorcery. There's multiple levels all the way up to the night blade, which is what we're going to be going for. But we're going to start off with rogue, and you can see what that does. Ranged attack damage with our bow, plus 10%. 30% damage resistance while dodging. So every time we run out of arrows and we start to dodge will take 30% less damage and 5% piercing damage. So when the arrow hits, you saw in our bow, it gets range damage and piercing damage. So we're going to turn that one on, confirm I'm it. I'm not saying I believe it. Then your path, I can see the... Normally and so the that'll be a process. You need so many points to open up the next your tier. In the so it's good but to it actually focus on one tree, focus. but you don't have to. So either there's something wrong with me, and that it could mean... I've never had... I'll meet you at his home to the east. That's just it. He lives in a little hut. All right. If, the if there's something north. in blue, make sure I'll you hit it. And it's basically just repeated the last thing we talked about. Uh, let's see. So there is the cave we went into a minute ago. And just looking around, see if there's anything we can loot. Now, you can you can harvest all these things. You just pick them up. And there is an alchemy skill that will give you a higher chance to gather a reagent. 
and you can then get into alchemy. But um, as a rogue and just in general, the more chests you unlock and everything else, you're going to have enough potions and stuff. And then again, money is not an object. You'll have so much money in this game that you can buy anything. All right. Of all the if you see a, a lore stone the or the shrines, pray at the shrine to get the buff. And then the lore stone the will give you and lady of the light. Uh, experience. She all right. Is let's hop into our quest love. lines. She is the cure. So we want to meet our conscience of the So once we've opened that, we can hit the M bu the button. He's way over here. We haven't even made it into this first area. Probably not the first quest that we want to do. So we'll escape out of that. They tell us to be level 10 for that quest. And even if we look at it, it's all the way on the other side of the map. So we don't want to do that one. The expedition is going to be down in Edinburgh. So we start here and then we can come here and then we can go south or we can continue. But basically this will be our starting zone. If you played Warcraft, think of it that way. This is our starting zone. This is going to be our next zone. And then Glendara and Webwood, you can do either direction. And then Haxi or Etnmir, you can do either direction. And then you start expanding east from there. And the quest will basically send you in the right direction. All right, so none of those. We have one quest, and that wants us to go to Gorehart. That's the obvious one. Now, we can fast travel to Alistair Tower. We can fast travel to Stone Candle Mines. Once you've opened a place, you can click on it, and it'll ask you if you want to fast travel there. We have not discovered it, so we can't get there. But we will continue on this little path, switching over to our bow again. This guy's non-violent. At least he's never attacked me. I killed him once. And I don't worry about the uh, reagents for another reason. They don't... I mean, you can sell them, but... Honestly, they take up a lot of inventory space. You're, you're limited on that. We do need to buy backpacks as we find them. All right, well, here's Gorehart. There you go. Now that we've discovered it, we can fast travel there. So that's awesome. And then you see at the bottom, we just got 21 experience points for discovering the town. And the green bar is where we're at and on our progress from level 1 to level 2. All right, there we are. We already looked at that. All right, let's get in here. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Don't trust All right, we're going to go over business. here. Go on. We're going to loot that. Now, one of the things, I'm going to go talk to him, but there's this chest right here. This is part of the, uh, even when I just had the base game, this was here. So we're going to take all. All right, so... That's cool. We opened up a couple more fade specialties. But let's pop in here and look at our inventory. Let's look at weapons first. And all we've got is the one longbow. So we know we're not going to use a long sword or a great sword or a hammer. These are the same. So we'll toss that one. Secondary. All right, so we picked up another set of iron daggers. Now, if you take a look, there's 13 out of 20. That's like the health of the weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out and trash these into our junk. And then let's look at armor. So that's might. There's a finesse. So we'll equip that. There's might and a finesse. And if we get the set... We do 12% critical damage and 10% health. So we've got two pieces. So we'll trash that. Might. Three gives us plus 10 crit hit damage with melee. So when we go to our daggers or fey blades, that'll help us out there. This will give us a fourth. Add that to the junk. 
And that'll give us our fifth set there. All right, so we've got five out of five. We only need three to get all the perks from that set. So don't, uh, basically don't be afraid to swap out gear. As you get stuff, it'll be much better. All right, this is the alchemy shop. I don't want that. Let's talk to this guy. I don't care what you race. Just look at the poor oh. creature. It appears people simply... I don't know whether we possess the knowledge so to... So she was attacked. A... In case you haven't heard. Well, the... I'm going Offer to, to help. seek her wisdom. She spends her days in the precipice and overlooking the village. Bye now. He gives you another quest. All right, this is the blacksmith shop. Now, you could do a couple of things in here. Remember in the skills, blacksmithing was one of the options? Let's run over here to the forge. Greetings. And you do all your own forging. The blacksmith will repair your stuff. So what we want to come in is look at salvaging. Now, I only want to salvage things that I can make that will help me. Scepters don't help me. Leather gloves with plus crit do. So we'll salvage that. You just click on it and we pick up two things. Hammers, no. Hammer, no. Iron gauntlets is blocking. Mana, mana. Crit. We didn't get anything out of that one. That's too bad. There's a crit damage. Let's go ahead and take that. Nothing. I'm going to go ahead and do this, not for the staff parts, but possibly the fire parts. And we do get rivets. The shaft won't do us any good. Daggers will help us. Longbow will help us. More crit. More crit. And a lot of times these really cheap items won't give you anything. They just won't. Uh, piercing damage. That'll be good to have. And that's it. We're all the way down to the end of the list. Now, that was everything in our inventory. So we're going to come talk to the shopkeeper. Welcome to Gorehall. The last settlement before the fair. All right, we can ask her some questions. Today. It doesn't, all it gives is backstory, so feel free to do that when you're playing. Remember how we were right clicking and adding things to our junk? Well, if we sell all of our junk, watch, we go from 59 to 28, and we just made 8,423 gold. We can hop into our selling, and we can look through here. I'm not going to use magic, so we'll sell that. I don't need the mana, so we'll double click and sell that. And I'm going to sell all these reagents. The shadow prisms. I'm going to keep the gems, because we will want those at some point. And I don't need the logs, the bones, skull. And these are the things we picked up in the initial tutorial. Don't need them. And that clears us out. Oh, I do want to shop for, we're on buy, so let's scroll down and see, there's a backpack, 7,200 gold, and that raised us by 10, and I'm going to go ahead and buy all 16 lockpicks just to have enough, right? So you can buy in there, you can double check what you have to sell, and we're good. Now, we did just pick up a new item, and it was an accessory, and it's a squire's ring. Health is not the direction we want to go, but we don't have anything else. So we're going to equip that into one of our ring slots. Uh, consumables, I'm going to map this to our radial. Uh, we're going to add that to junk. And I'm going to keep that in case we fight spiders, which there are a lot. Care to part with some gold? And let me sell my junk there, the one we just added. Come see me again. And we're good. Let's come over and talk to. The oh, that's the guard. Oh, here she is. Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord? We'll repair. It'll cost us forty gold. Favor in this. Good habit to get into every you? time you're in town. Hit the blacksmith. Repair. You can have repair kits, but it's just as easy to do that. Just as easy to do that. 
All right, we had not looted that entire chest of, of specialty items. So we want to come back over and hit this up. And we want to take them all. All right, we have acquired a Chakram. These are medium ranged melee weapons preferred by mages. Um, they're basically, uh, they're circles that you throw and then they, like a boomerang, but they're a circle. And they're pretty cool. So I highly recommend uh, your staff, your chakrams, and then your magic casting. Uh, you know, one of the builds that I'm playing with, the Archmage, is uh, mostly is you want to focus on your casting and then using chakrams and then staffs as a secondary option. All right, so we've got a lot of head pieces. So let's go through and check. I'm going to check these out. Okay, I've weeded out all the armor that doesn't apply to us. So you notice we got this one finesse, and there's also a three finesse. You know, it really depends on what you want to accomplish. Now, this is critical hit damage with melee. We're more bow-oriented, right? So bleeding and... I like the plus five experience while in reckoning mode. That's when you hit the X and everything turned blue and you're able to kill things faster. So let's go ahead and swap out to the imminent stuff. It's a little bit better. There you go. And you notice we just had heard that sound. That means we've got all five pieces and we've got all the bonuses. Now we also picked up a couple of shields. Now we're not gonna be using a shield, but it, you do benefit from the, abil uh, the ability. So, plus five fate, block six damage, block seven damage. I think I like the extra fate, so we'll get rid of these two. And we'll get rid of the running man stuff. You could be the running man to burning man, right? Weapons, all right, we do have longbows. So we have uh, Fate's Curve. Let's equip that one and then compare it to the Hunter. So the Hunter has one more DPS, but most of that is over the four damage. Now look at this, plus 15% Reckoning Duration. So the time that you have from the time you hit the X, start your Reckoning, and the time you have to kill everybody down to one hit point and then hit that F key to do that finishing move uh, is 15% longer. Now this one does give 2% chance to critical hit and that's the direction we want to go. So this one only does 14, this one does 17. I may keep both of these. And then what I can do is maybe use this one but when I get close to having the full bar switch out to this one maybe that might be what I want to do so we're gonna equip that one but we're gonna get rid of the conductive longbow now when we salvaged everything at the at the forge we were only able to do white things now as you add points into the skill tree then you can unlock the greens and then the higher uh, level things all right, now we need to decide for our secondary, do I want to go daggers or do I want to go fey blades? There's no right or wrong answer here. They're both very, uh, if we look, fey blades are fast, daggers are very fast. We're only going to be using these short term until our bows are reset. Now the interesting thing about, they both will do stealth kills. Fey blades are bigger weapons. You can see they're almost double the length as the daggers. I mean, it's hard to tell right there, but, you know, is what it is. But these will hit more creatures, so it's almost like an area of effect melee attack. So, but we kind of need to decide right now because we need to start putting points into one or the other. And so that's something that we're going to want to take into consideration. Uh, let's see. I don't need the chakrams because those are more sorcerer. All right, that has four damage. 
That one does not have fire, so we're going to get rid of that. I'm not equipping these, so they don't help me. So I'm not going to keep either one, honestly. And we will keep... Um, we'll keep the flame there. Don't need the great sword. All right, so... This is secondary. I like that. 5% chance to steal 4 health per hit. So it almost it heals you with an attack. So if you're taking damage, it could heal you as fast as you take damage. Never know. But I think... Let's play with daggers this time. Just because. Because I haven't done it before. So I have that. Alright. We're certainly not going to use these. 5 and 5... 6 and 6, 6 and 6. So let's equip that one and then compare. Even, even. So we get 6 fire damage per hit. So it's 18 to 12 on the damage. That's why the DPS is so skewed. And then you get a 3, bit, three damage dot. So I think that's the one we go with. Although, I might keep these for that Reckoning duration. Now, that only does extra damage at night. So, I don't particularly like that one. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. And we went with the Hunter. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of it. That way, I don't have to worry about switching anything. Nothing crazy. And we'll go over and I will show you only a few things show up in here, right? And we will use it. We will wear a shield. And if we look at crafting, we can actually make things with, right now, even with no points in the skill that take two components. But you can see as you add to that, you can add up to five components. The more components you add, the more powerful it will be. And blacksmithing will eventually give you much better gear than you will find. And in-game, you want to go with a lot of crafted stuff. You also have uh, warrior armor, rogue armor. And see, it says we want a buckler, so that may be the route we want to go. And we've picked up a few pieces, but nothing to make anything, right? So, let's go ahead and make a shield. And you can rename it, but I'm not. Just, you know, we want to, we're going to sell that. So let's look at our armor. There's our kite shield that we just made. And we'll clear out our junk again. Boom, another 7,300. Come see me again gold from selling all that stuff so it's a, it's a nice way to get a little chunk of money at the beginning of the game buy your backpack if nothing else all right on the map in the direction we're heading you can see the white dots those are characters all right we have a graveside letter not a mortal she is all of us not some of us do the half truths of these wise men exhaust you? And there's you a as they yellow, just like uh, Warcraft, for exclamation long. point. To it's Saint a quest. <laughs> Although you have arrived just when I, we had said the call two nights ago, Egan ventured part Odorath, I fear for so, Brother Egan. Mitharu, Brother Egan, please find him. Will help. Perhaps Egan was last seen in the woods outside. May Mitharu protect All right. Enough of the oppression. Enough so that's really all you need to hit. Enough and some quests will open up. We can also the break these no things judge. here. Oh, and you can see the new daggers here. Do the half truths of these wise men exhaust you as they do me? I have listened to their prayers for right. too long. There are other voices to be heard. There's a hollow log. And a chest. An anonymous journal. Uh, items. Oh, we got the compass of fate, which gives us a plus one persuasion, just carrying it in your inventory. Dowsing rod uh, helps us find elements. 
The Anonymous Journal. Let's read it. And saw some something entering an overgrown thicket. Graveside letter. Let's read that. Consumables. There was, oh, here we go, Elixir of Inspiration. Let's use that. It's 500 points, and we just leveled up. So there we go. Time flies in this game, let me tell you. All right, so we're going to level up. We're going to take that Detect Hidden, Confirm, and then we want to, we're going to take one point in Dagger, so basically a point every level. And we're going to go longbow. And it says take two points as a recommendation if you don't really need anything else. Now we do have the Shadow Flare and the Assassin's Art. Now Assassin's Art, we're not going to be using stealth very much because we're going to be a ranged uh, attack. And the number of stealth kills in the game really make it worthless to do that. Problem is, as you level up, you do less and less damage. And if we look here, you get 10 uh, another 20. You get another 10 percent critical damage when attacking from stealth, and 30 percent more damage with daggers and fey blade sneak attacks. So they only work for sneak attacks, but this is how you'll be able to continue to actually kill creatures uh, as you're leveling up. Uh, the Shadow Flare will stagger targets. It does cost a little mana. So let's take a point there, and then we'll confirm. We're going to stay with the Rogue. And just out of curiosity, if you were asking, so it takes 11 points in finesse to get to the next tier. So it'll pop up into that top category uh, when you uh, when it's available. So don't let that throw you off. Let's do one last attack here. Oh, and I'm going to switch over to number two. I forgot to do that a minute ago. And there's a shrine. Let's go ahead and pray in it, or pray at it. And there's a book over here that we want to go get. Another repair kit. And... Let's check out our quest. So we have two side quests. Uh, let's see. So he is actually up there. This is Agnor Farhall. We don't need to go in there yet. We don't have a quest for it, so we're going to leave it alone. And we go back to local. And you can see we've undone this. We have areas over here. Scroll out. And then we have Brother Egan up to the north. And we can just work our way around if we want. And that's kind of what I recommend because then you open any other and you want to get up close to unlock it on the map. That way we can fast travel later on, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on the journey. I'm going to work my way around uh, for next episode and we will pick up, uh, I am assuming, up here for Brother Egan unless something happens between here and there. Uh, but we'll call this episode two. Guys, take care of yourselves. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, you know, please consider checking out some of the other stuff on my channel. Take care. We'll talk to you. Bye.